Well, I guess it's uh, February the 8th, 2023. And I've been doing some experiments on wood selection and come up with a technique I call a double tap tone, which is related to the Fourier transform frequency. And uh, so here's a number of fingerboards and they have a range of double tap tone frequencies of um, 850 or 950 on this end and down to this end 600 so 600 to 900 so I want to um, demonstrate there's a piece of spruce wood and it's got a bit of uh, violin string rosin glued to the bottom here. And so I'm just going to tap along and there's a certain uh, overtone we want to listen to as it goes along and see if you can hear that change as we go from one end to the other. And if I hear it right, these two are very similar, the, near the same. From here, there's an overtone that goes down, up, and then from here, And I've done this with uh, seven different kinds of violin parts. Um, and it also works with a, what I call a synchronous resonance uh, tap tone tool, which is just a piece of uh, cardboard out of a paper roll, kind of a heavy duty paper roll, some um, manila folder paper, and a number two pencil. So it's like. Pencil, just take the eraser end off and the uh, manila folder paper. Just take a letter size manila folder. You simply just uh, cut it out and you punch a uh, hole in the center of the size of the pencil and then make a cap piece and on the back side just punch a number of sound holes then you glue the pencil in with epoxy and you just let it barely stick out the top and you put your cap on also with epoxy and then this is just uh, violin varnish with a little fuller's earth in it to help absorb excess vibrations so using that for a tapper And do something similar. All right, so that's um, the kind of research uh, conclusions I'm going on. So my next, um, I've got wood purchased. Uh, so I have all the pieces of the next four violins are seven sixty-five, uh, which is a double tap tone. And this one is uh, 772. Seven sixty. Seven fifty two. And seven fifty two. So the idea is this would.
tend to sound the brightest. It goes up, up. So it looks like the um, frequency of 752 has the best response in this mysterious way. And so if all the wood of a violin was at the optimum wood property, then overall it should sound best. So that's approximately the conclusions I've drawn from making violins with uh, various double tap wood tone wood selection matching. So that's the uh, state of the wood selection technique and just a little demonstration. Dave Langsather of violinresearch.com.